Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to Which Canoe is the Best Canoe Mock Tournament where we're on match 2 now and a quick recap of match 1 in case anybody missed it is canoe number 1 Staggered Slopes uh, absolutely got its tushy uh, flattened uh, by canoe number 2 the diamond shape because uh, Diamond shape being cheaper and smaller and more maneuverable was able to dodge cram shells and completely ran rings around the staggered slopes which was bigger, slower and more flabby and just could not keep up. Literally could not keep up. So, on to fight two here. Over to our right we have canoe number four sloping back V uh, because of the way uh, that um, its slope works, sloping back from the tips uh, down to the main hull. This is by far the biggest and most expensive canoe uh, in the whole tournament. Uh, so we'll have to see if that actually helps. Uh, extra side armor might help a little bit. There is a little bit extra here just because of the shape and how it got to be such a big V. And it also has two main guns uh, as opposed to just one. Uh, and some mortars, not too many because the shape of this uh, thing does not lend itself well uh, to having lots of internal space at the end, which is a bit of a disadvantage. And it's a 1v2, uh, and over here, the two uh, little canoes, uh, canoe hull 3, which is just called Gentle Slopes, because it starts with long slopes, and then they get shorter towards the end. Uh, the smallest and cheapest canoe, uh, only 106,000 materials, and it's almost exactly... Uh, cost equal in this fight, so two of these guys costs only just a few thousand materials short uh, of our big friend over there, and it'll be very interesting to see who wins this one. So once again, it's going to be best of three, no rematches, no draws, and just going to wait for the ambulance helicopter to bugger off so uh, we can have a nice sound, or alternatively, we could go for it right now. Here we go. So opening volleys, we've got, uh, let's see what's happening there, immediately, uh, oh yeah, canoe hull number four is not doing well, that main cram took a hit, that main cram took a big hit, a bit of a scratch on one of the, on one of the number threes. And that's a poor, and that's a poor shot, that ricocheted off. Oh, yep, that missed. So I think it looks it's looking very much like the first round in that uh, smaller, more nimble craft uh, have a distinct advantage, especially when it comes to mortars. And yet that is uh, that main turret is is it disabled? I can't tell. See, is that going to do anything? That looked painful. That took out some crank components, some engine bits. I th do believe that uh, this uh, big cr big craft is. Oh, jeez, that do not much actually. What did this do? Not much. This could be. Oh boy! So now the smaller the smaller canoes have got their eyes in, and both main turrets are damaged uh, on the number four. Yeah, looks like you know being big is not a defense uh, against mortars. Although, th now that uh, these guys aren't wiggling around so much, it looks like the mortars uh, on the... Uh, what do you call it? I'm just going to call it the number four because that's what's on screen. I can't remember my own names for these things. It looks like... Oh, hello. That did something. Probably not enough. Oh, uh, number four is switch targets. Oh, that's bad. Yep. It looks like the mortars are a real uh, powerful determining factor in this uh, in this whole mock tournament because it looks like uh, that being big and especially being wide is a great way to just have mortars hit you a lot. Yep, and uh, that's definitely a main gun that is disabled. Though... Yeah, it's not... Yeah, this is very much... Okay, ouch. That only hit the outside. Uh, looks like the small, nimble canoes are really doing a lot better. It remains to be... Si uh oh, that looks good. Oh... 
And that's AI dead. Wow. Just immediately, just that one lucky shot uh, has made this a much, uh, much more, dis uh, what, what do you want to call it? A much less even fight. Just with that, just with that one lucky shot, uh, our bi our the, the, the big dude, big bully dude, is now, uh, is now really got their iron. I don't know what that means. I'm, this is exciting. That's an upset. So now the health advantage is huge. I mean, this... Alright, so, uh, Team 3, Canoe Hull 3, now they absolutely need to win. They can't just run the clock out. Uh, they have to... Uh, this little dude has to destroy that big boy over there. Or big girl. It's a ship. It's probably... It, it's a girl, I guess. And if they get too close, it means that that one main gun that's still functional... Uh, yeah, let's see. Will that hit? Will that do... Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Somebody's lost engine power. Like... Sloping V is, a uh... Sloping V has enough cram mortars to finish this off, so it's not looking good. Not looking good for hull threes. Although, I think... I think she's been blinded. She might not have any detection left. Because both of her main guns, where all the detection is... Oh, boy. It, like... Uh, hull number three still... Whoop. Yeah, hull number three still can run the clock out, uh, but she won't win if she does that, as per the rules. Also, oh yeah, now now she's a sitting duck for mortars. Now she's a sitting duck for mortars, and her own detectors are going to be, are going to be. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, I in. Yep, all those mortars are now hitting. All of them are now hitting. Even with that massive. Let's have a quick look, actually. Let's see. Let's see here. Yeah, looks like... Alright, so some detection... Alright, so the radar tracker's on top. They're still working, looks like... Yep, there's still some cameras working, so... Nope, uh, hull number four... Definitely has enough detection to make this work, as is evidenced by the fact that those mortars are now landing non-stop. That low freeboard, though, means that those main guns just keep missing. boy. Unless, uh, unless this little fella gets really lucky. Not looking very good. Oh! <gasps> oh, she was almost AI dead. That was almost AI dead right there. Oh, wow, that was close. But uh, she can't fight back anymore. She can't fight back because the wireless transmitter has been destroyed. That's it. It's like, uh, it's all over by the screaming. Looks like, yeah, just a few more mortars in the same place. It'll be AI dead and that's it. Wow, this was this was quite a fight. It was uh, it really did look like hull number four uh, would lose in the same way, uh, like in the first round. So wow, it looks like uh, beyond a certain point. And yep, AI dead. There we go. There we go. Hull number four sloping back V. She uh, she takes it. Looks like uh, there is a certain point in which uh, being the underdog. Being the underdog, we're being small and cheap does not help you. Who would have thought? Let's have a look at her. Let's, uh, how are you feeling? Ouch. Um, yeah, very much, uh, not incredibly good defense. Just being big, uh, was her saving grace here. So, let's go back to setup. Let's go to round two. Let's go to round two and let's see, uh, how things are going. So, just uh, so you see the material difference. Uh, team 2, uh, hull number 4 has a very, uh, actually no, so just a few hundred uh, material difference. Um, so the two smaller canoes are slightly more expensive than the one big one, but uh, that didn't help them that much. This is actually a bit of more of an even fight than match 1. So we'll have to see. Alright, so those first two cram shots look like they are on target. Uh, they managed to uh, clip the side of the hull. That's gonna miss. Uh, and now she's zeroing in. Okay, on our friend over here. What's that gonna do? Not a hell of a lot. Okay, so uh, 
Wait a minute, what did that do? Oh, that's that's already getting in the engines. Oh, that looked formidable. Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. Oh, I see AI, AI components. Oh! <laughs> Less than a minute in, immediate AI dead. Uh, and that is the problem uh, with being a small craft, is that uh, the odds of something important getting hit is much, much higher. That was brutal. That was a headshot, if I've ever seen one. But now, uh, now the sloping back V uh, needs to turn around. Man, that was impressive. That was incredibly lucky, actually. So now, aiming there. Oh, that missed. So now, like, uh, once again, this little fella... This little... Whoopsie-daisy, that's the wrong button. Oh, we get to see what the mortar's up to. Uh, yeah, we get to... Oh, wow, that looked painful. That looked really painful. Wow, the, uh... Hull number four, sloping back feet. She's not taking any prisoners this time around, and she's just essentially gutted the main turret. Yeah, that thing is not going to do any damage anymore. Whoa, okay, yeah, like, even the game was like, ouch, that hurt. Whoa, decapitation. Like, I said what happened before was a headshot. No, 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 no. That was a headshot. That, like... <laughs> This was a David and Goliath fight, except this time Goliath was like, you know what, I don't care if God is on your side. I'm bigger, I'm stronger, I'm meaner, I'm winning this. I don't care what you think. Oh, beautiful. Oh, my word. Alright, is that gonna hit? Nope, misses just barely. Oh, man, like this, I don't see any way. Unless those mortars get incredibly lucky. Uh, which they don't seem to be doing. They those ones whiffed, and those ones also whiffed. Although I think this thing is now moving faster now. There's not weight bound by the turret. Okay, that looked bad. Yep, engine. Let's see. Let's see what happened there. That looked like yep. AI compartment is damaged. Uh, half the engines are gone. And yeah, she's not. She, I don't think she's moving as fast as she used to be. Let's see how you're doing over here. Yeah, the, oh, the difference that it makes when the main guns don't get damaged. She's barely scratched. She's got some, uh, just the edge here is a little bit damaged. Oh, that barrel guard absolutely saved the bacon of that barrel. And looks like, yeah, like mostly, mostly not a, not a scratch on her. Well, scratch, but not even a flesh wound. Not even a flesh wound. Wow. I think... I think this match might be going even faster than uh, match one, and that was an ass kicking. This was a real ass kicking. I mean, my goodness. Oh, now the oh, now really, it just just occurred to me. All the detection in the turret that's now been knocked off. She's got a no chance. Those mortars, yeah, those mortars are really not firing at all. And good night. That's all she wrote. AI dead. Wow. That just goes to show you that a pen depth cram on anything that isn't quite fast enough to rely- Oh wow, and now Mortar's adding to insult. Okay, that was brutal. Th that was a very short match. So far as like, wow, we're seeing some very strong uh, competition in this tournament so far. Like, round one, we had the small and nimble canoes uh, beat up bigger ones, and this time there's just the big bully has just said like, nah. I rule the sea. There will be no better canoe than me. So that was... That was awesome. I like that. Nice and short, too. It leaves enough time for lunch. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps. And there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters. And I will see you next time. In which canoe is the best canoe? Mock tournament. See you there, and farewell.